We're in Ireland somewhere. Exorcisms used to take place in here. Yo, the door just moved, bro. No, I got it, mate. I got it. Yo. Oh. The police have actually turned up. Welcome everyone, well, we're currently on a six day road trip in Ireland, we've actually come to this old convent, I'm not going to say where it is, but we're in Ireland somewhere and basically exorcisms used to take place in here and the reason this, is, this place closed down, this is the claims, it's closed down because the exorcisms were going wrong and the community basically didn't want any of this stuff going on anymore, so it was actually a uh, school as well at one point but they closed it down because of the weird shit going on, so with we're my man, exploring with fighters, High times exploring, we're doing this. I mean, what, what, do you, what do you think, what do you think? Do you reckon these claims are true? I don't know, it's past my, my paranormal season's gone, I'm just doing <laughs> explorers now, so I'll be annoyed if anything paranormal does happen because I probably won't include it in the video. I don't know, considering this is going out, uh, my videos will be going out near Christmas, or like December time, so I don't really want any paranormal stuff while well, the season's all jolly. <laughs> So, who knows? Let's explore this place and check this out. This one is not different. So this place actually got the whole ground. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Dark needs. Dark needs. So guys, I just want to say as well, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Um, if you've not already done so, hit the like button. Also, hit the bell button as well so you get notified for these places. Yo, that is a scary picture, that is. Just that is a scary picture. Jesus, I've just seen this. Well, it's Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Yo, what's that red light in there? Yo, yo. I think it's a stained glass. Yeah, it is. Is it? Nah, it's not, mate. What is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, mate, that's creepy, that. Wow, look at that. Shit. Yeah, murder. Just want to say it as well, we have got the merchandise up, so I'll check the link in the description. I'm actually repping the uh, dark arts hoodie right now. Some ball one. <laughs> Got a nice dead dead mouse or something on the phone
So maybe this is the room where all the exorcisms took place. Shit. Oh shit! <laughs> the pigeon just flew into the window. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? There's something quite horrifying about that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yo, the door just moved, bro. No, I got it, mate. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can use that clip, mate. The door just moved on its own. Yeah, it does. Shit. Yeah. See a weird vibe in it? Yeah. Are you feeling that weird? What? Like a weird vibe in it? Yeah. I don't know, it just feels odd. I was just, I was, I was literally... Hey? Stop it, Carl. Literally, I just stood there taking a picture down the corridor. I don't know, I just feel a bit weird. I don't know, man. It did feel odd. Hmm. <laughs> so who knows, maybe the exorcisms took place in the chapel, or I don't know, but literally the chapel was there. I was crouched down to get a bit and I don't know, it feels really uneasy in this building. I don't know. It was always like little rims and stuff, and yeah, you can see. So I don't know, maybe these was like trainee priest rooms or something where they used to stay. I don't know, but this one's actually got a bed in it still. And a chair. Something creepy about that. Like, I mean, I mean this looks very fresh. Just watch out for needles or anything. Yeah, look at all you can see with me chasing dragon, that's a horrible look yeah. Sure. 
So we're basically leaving this building right now. Uh, the police have actually turned up. Bear in mind, we're in a different, different country altogether. We don't know what the, what the actual laws are here. But uh, I'm just going to go outside, see what crack is. We're currently right now, the police officers are parked in front of the car, looking through the window. So I'm just going to go and check out what's going on. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Why are you doing that? Oh, technically. Okay. 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 Uh, we've got a friend uh, in Dublin called Dave, and he's sending sent us over to uh, Cork at the moment. Oh, yeah. And then when we were driving past, we saw this place, and it just looked empty. Dublin to Cork. Yeah, it's going to take about four hours. So, is Not there one other person with you, lads? No. Nope. We were told there was four. No, only no, three. No, there's three of us. Okay, is yeah. this running? Uh, no, it's off. Uh -huh. It shows a few photos, so that she had just taken. You're here a good while? Uh, half an hour. In Ireland, I suppose, just, just to be very clear about it, if you enter property which is not owned by yourself, then it's private property. When it's, this is not owned by the public, this is owned by a private person here, okay? So that, what that would mean is that you, in, in theory now, you would have committed an offence because you've entered onto a premises that's not yours without permission, okay? Right. I don't know what the it's story not is. It's like that in the UK. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, just in Ireland, I, 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 trespassing is probably what it would fall under, lads. You know, I don't think you're here to to be unfair to you. I don't think you're here to. Is that joke now is, is that recording? No, it's off. What? What's it's, that? It's off. What? It's off. Okay. Well, it's just anyway. To make a long story short, is that you would be under the public order act. It's tres trespassing. It falls in under which is section 13 of that act. You know, you will be actually. Oh, I'm sorry about that. We didn't realise. Okay, yeah, and uh, what we're going to do is, as unfortunately, just we'll get somebody to check the premises, and once they're okay. satisfied with that, we'll then take a review from there. Then, if they're okay. if, if they're satisfied, is or, or if they want to make a complaint, but if they want to make a complaint, lads, that's another day's work. Then we'll just you know, we'll have to hear about coming onto the land with that. I know what you're saying is that you you've come here to document. So what we might do first and foremost is, 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 is to take everybody's name and detail. Have you any objections to that? No, 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 no. Okay, all right. Yeah. Where's back up? No. Like in the UK, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. When we thought with it being Ireland, it was the same like it's laws. more relaxed thing. you talk for us in Ireland, is it? Yeah. Right, so guys, we're in the car. We've not been arrested. Uh, the trespassing law is a little bit different here. Um, I'm not being funny, but it was an ass twitchy moment. Uh, I think we all pretty much thought we were going to get nicked right there. Um, 
yeah, it was, it was pretty damn sketchy. Yeah, but why don't we pretty got indulged just for the sheer fact that you know, the building three three was bets. quite good. Yeah. Um, there was there was loads of stuff uh, to explore in there, but obviously the police turned up and we thought we're going to get out um, and just you know make ourselves known in a way or try and evade them in, in, in a certain way, but we couldn't. It was, we was basically trapped in the compound. Um, so they've taken our details and shit like that, and yeah, they've they've let us go. But basically, they said if the owner wanted to prosecute us. Um, well, press charges, but basically what would happen is we'd have to stay in this country until we was prosecuted. Shit. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? As soon as he said that, man, my ass was just was twitching. No joke. But, uh, how, did you, how did you boys feel about that shit? Um, <laughs> shit myself. <laughs> I was worried for a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, if he's talked to him nicely in that, they're fine. But the problem was, is like you said, I don't know how true it is, but the owner has the power to keep us in a cell overnight, so that's kind of scary, I guess. Yeah, I was a bit switched up. Absolutely scary, but um, uh, that is mad. That is absolute madness. But yeah. How do you know if it's immediate? We're safe that anyway. Instant book at top. Yeah. That is it anyway. Don't know. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys soon. Press up now.